What's going on guys? My name's Jacob. I'm an amateur woodworker with big ideas in a small space. And if you saw the thumbnail, you already know why you're here. So let me just give you a little bit of backstory. My girlfriend loves to work out. It is absolutely killing her that she can't go to the gym right now and lift weights because everything is closed down. So I thought I would make her some. So I've got these pieces of pine. They're cut to about 11 and 11 inches. 11 and 11. 11 by 11 inch square pieces. I have this inch and a quarter dowel, six feet long. And I've also got this four foot long inch, uh, inch dowel. So what I'm gonna do is make a, what I hope to be an 80 pound barbell and a couple of 20 pound ish dumbbells. So we'll see how that goes. And let me tell you, it was an interesting conversation at Home Depot that I had with the guy who cut these down for me. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to it.
Okay, we're back inside now. The barbell is done. I was able to make it weigh 80 pounds with a little less than $40 in materials. So, not bad. So, cross that one off the checklist. Really liked making this build. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for really dynamic movements with a barbell just because the bar makes me a little nervous, but that's only because of how heavy I made it. I'm sure if you made it like 70 or 60 pounds, it would probably be better. Uh, just because I was kind of going off the philosophy of the bar, it, it'll bend, but it doesn't break, which it does. It still bends and it hasn't broken yet. So, and that's also because, you know, you're supporting it in the middle with your hands. So that's my theory. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it for now. But if I had to make it again, I'd either use a thicker dowel for the bar, uh, use an inch and a quarter. Uh, maybe if they made like a two inch bar or maybe an inch and a half, kind of make me feel a little bit better. Or I, like I said, I would make it a little bit lighter just so you can still do more of the dynamic movements without having to uh, worry about it possibly snapping. That or you just reinforce the bar. I was actually thinking about doing that, but I kind of wanted to leave it all wood. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this, please give my video a like, a big thumbs up. It helps my video get seen by others. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Natasun Woodart. And be sure to go check out my Patreon page. All the links for those will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, even if you have big ideas in a small space or small ideas in a big space, go out there and make them happen. And I'll see you in the next video.